good morning children today we are going to see some important chapters okay uh, homologous series means what nomenclature as well as we will start with functional groups what do we mean by homologous series homo means what same hetero means different that you have studied right homologous heterologous it's the same like that here homologous series okay it is understood from this term so it is a homologous series See here first we will see the definition. What is homologous series? Before that, I will tell you some examples for alkanes. Methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane. If you uh, remember all the formulas, what is the first formula? CH4. Then the next one? C2H6. Third one? C3H8. Like that it goes on. Okay, I have written for the first six compounds. Okay, methane, ethane, propane, butane, benzene, hexane. By seeing this, you will come to know. Can you tell me the difference between these two? C2H6 minus CH4. One C is there and one H is there and one 2. CH2 difference. These two? CH2. Between these two? CH2. CH2. Between these two? CH2. Okay. Now you got it I think. No? The definition for this homologous series. See, it's a series of similarly constituted compounds in which the members present have the same functional group. You are going to study functional group and that you may explain what do you mean by functional groups. Okay. Here just you may, should study same functional group, same chemical properties. If you see these Compounds, no methane, ethane, propane, butane, chemical properties, if you see, it will be similar. Okay. So, same functional group and same chemical properties. And any two successive members, successive members means this and this. This and this. Or whichever it may be. Two successive members in a particular series differ in their molecular formula by CH2 group. Okay. You can check this with... Uh, Alkene as well as alkyne also. Same way, what will be the difference? CH2 difference will be there. So, shall we repeat it once? It's a series of similarly constituted compounds. Okay, these are all similarly constituted compounds in which the members present have the same functional group and same chemical properties and any two successive members in a particular series differ by what? CH2. Okay. This is homologous series. So, always you should keep in mind that it should differ by CH2. Okay. The next one is nomenclature. What do you mean by nomenclature? Naming ceremony. What do you mean by naming ceremony? When we name a child, you know, that is called as naming ceremony. Same way here. For organic compounds also, we have studied how many million trillion compounds are there. For all the compounds, Name should be given. Who will name that? Can I name some compounds? Can you name some compounds? No. It should be named by who? IUPAC. What is the abbreviation for that? What is the expansion? International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. IUPAC means International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Okay, we will see how they are naming. There should be something, no? Uh, some... Uh, Structure should be there to name. They can't name like whichever name they like. They can't name like how we name a dog or a cat and all. No, simply whatever comes in, the mind, uh, in our mind or whoever we like, no, we will name. It is not like that. There are some rules which should be followed. See here, organic compounds have generally two types of names. Organic compounds have generally two types of names. One is IUPAC name and the other one is common name. Okay, two names, IUPAC name and common name. Okay, IUPAC names have been adopted by, see here, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry based on certain rules. Okay, IUPAC name, there are two types of names generally. One is IUPAC name and the other one is common name. IUPAC name have been adopted by International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. There are certain rules to be followed. 
And what about the other name, common name? Is there any rule? No. So the common name have no proper system. It can be named like just like that. There is no rule. IUPAC name of a compound is built from four parts. Okay, that is very important. Four parts are there. What are those? Prefix, word root, primary suffix and secondary suffix. So every term, every word if you see, it will have four parts. Prefix, word root, primary suffix and secondary suffix. You know that term, maybe. what do you mean by prefix and what do you mean by suffix. Prefix will be added in the front and suffix will be added by the end of that word. So root word will be in the middle and prefix or suffix will be there. What do you mean by prefix? It refers to the substituent group. See, for example, chlorine, bromine, fluorine, iodine will be added. Now we will get the name. Chloromethane, bromomethane, fluoromethane, iodomethane. So where is this coming? It is coming in the front, in the prefix. Okay. So prefix means it refers to the substituent group. What is word root? That is, we have studied already, no? Root names. Meth, F, prop, same way. It goes on till deck. Okay? Primary suffix. What do you mean primary suffix? It denotes the nature of the carbon as well as the carbon bond. See, in case if two carbons are there, then in one line is there, it is called a single bond. Double bond will be represented by two. Triple bond will be represented by three. So, it goes on like that. Secondary suffix means it is the functional group. That's what we are going to study about. Secondary suffix is the functional group which is attached. What are the functional groups? Have you studied about the functional groups? It can be alcohol, aldehyde, ketone and carboxylic acid. Alcohol, aldehyde, ketone and carboxylic acid. See here, alcohol I have represented by OH. CHO is aldehyde. This one is ketone. And the last one is carboxylic acid. And one more important point there is, when you are writing a name, no? for example, if you are writing propane. Okay, you are writing propane. The last letter is E. Okay, and I am going to add one uh, name to that. See, for example, alcohol, aldehyde, ketone, carboxylic acid. If I am adding alcohol, no, how will we name with the same? Methanol, ethanol, propanol, butanol, pentanol. Like that, OL should be added. See, for example, with this one, propane, I am adding this all, alcohol. This last letter is E and this first letter is O. You should keep in mind that always in IUPAC, two vowels cannot be placed together. We have studied about vowels and consonants, no? So here, E and O can't come together. What should we do? We should strike this E and we should add this. So how will I name it? Propanol. P-R-O-P-A-N-O-L Same way you should write for all. Methane, ethane, propane, butane, all are ending with E. Correct? So if you are adding O-L, how will I add? I will strike that last E and I will add with this. So the spelling will be N-O-L, propanol. Okay, we will uh, call it propanol later. And the next one is aldehyde ethyl. Okay? Uh, for the same way, what should be added? Propanaldehyde, uh, ethanaldehyde, aldehyde should be added. We will be seeing this, okay? Then ketone. If I am adding ketone as a functional group, what should be added? You know, all should be added. Propanone, methanone, butanone, pentanone. So I should also check that the last and this one should not be vowel. So what should I do? I should strike this and should write propanone. N-O-N-E like that. Okay. Then carboxylic acid. How will I name it? Carboxylic acid. 
Acid should be there. Have you studied any? Ethanoic acid. Methanoic acid is there. Okay. So, methanoic acid, ethanoic acid, and all that, it should be added the same way. Now, we will come to study about functional groups. Okay. Before studying functional groups, one recap if you want to see nomenclature, how to name the compounds. First one is, two names are there. One is IUPAC name and the other one is common name. IUPAC name is by International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Some, because based on some rules. Then the common names, there is no proper system. IUPAC name has four parts. That is one prefix should be there. One root word or word root should be there. Then primary suffix and secondary suffix. And one more important thing is when we are adding that, two vowels should not be there. If it is there, we should strike that and then we should add See here, what do you mean by functional groups? Definition, okay. Carbon, it forms bonds with other elements such as halogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur. See, we have studied uh, methane. In that, how will you study with one carbon in all the four places? Who will come and sit? Hydrogen will come and sit, right? Okay. That is the reason we call them as hydrocarbons. But here what happens? In the place of hydrogen, some other elements can also come and sit. But not all. Okay. Such as halogens, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur. If it is halogen, we have studied chlorine, bromine, fluorine, iodine and all are halogens. So we can, in the place of hydrogen, all other places hydrogen will be there. Okay, in the place of one hydrogen, I will put Cl. And I will call it as chloromethane. Okay, one chlorine I have put. And it should be a prefix. No, we have studied that it should be a prefix. So, chloromethane. I should call it as chloromethane. So, first point, carbon also forms bonds with other elements such as halogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur. So, I, as I said, no hydrogen can be replaced by these elements and they are called as heteroatom. When this is coming and sitting here, it is called as heteroatom. Hetero means different. Homo means same. See, all others are hydrogen. It is same. But one is different, no? So, it is called as heteroatoms. What is the work of heteroatoms? That also we should study. Heteroatoms are responsible for the characteristic reactions. Heteroatoms are responsible for the characteristic reactions of a particular compound. The formula of a particular family is made up of two parts. Okay? What are those? Alkyl group and functional group will be there. Alkyl group can be represented by capital R. Alkyl group is represented by capital R. And the functional group, it can be alcohol, OH, aldehyde, CHO, ketone, C, double bond O. I will, we will be studying about each and everything in detail, functional groups. Alcohol, aldehyde, ketone, carboxylic acid. It can also be like um, alkene, alkyne. Also will come under this. Okay. So what is functional group first if you are thorough with then we will study one by one. Functional groups means they are carbon. Usually it will be carbon surrounded by hydrogen. But instead of that hydrogen some other element can also come. Like such as halogen, oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur. Is replaced by what? Hydrogen is replaced by these things. And this is called as heteroatom. What is the function of hydroatom? They give the characteristic future of the compound. The formula is made up of two parts. First one should be alkyl group and alkyl group plus functional group. Four functional groups we are going to study in detail. They are aldehyde, alcohol, ketone and carboxylic acid. Okay. In the next class we will be studying about alcohol and aldehyde and in the next class we will be studying about ketone and carboxylic acid. So this is the base for that. 
so study properly and be ready for the next class okay thank you